as a child of God, you are a conduit. You're what? A conduit. You're a pipe through which the power of God is dispensed. Amen? You are a dispensary of God's power. You are a power distributor. Glory to God. So you are not called to be at the mercy of the devil. You see, in this kingdom, we are not friends to the devil. Outside of this kingdom, everyone outside of the kingdom of God are prey to the devil. If he likes, he just gives them more time. Anytime he likes, he collects anyone he wants to collect through different means. There are some he makes to kill themselves. There are some he kills on the road. There are some he kills in their sleep. You know, they are just at his mercy. Uh, we, we, the devil has a program for them outside of the kingdom of God. But those of us inside, we are not prey to the devil. We are not. However, because we are not prey to the devil, he doesn't like us. <laughs> Amen. He doesn't like us at all. We are his enemies. You know why? Because we have a better position than what he even longed for. Yeah. We have a better position. That is, he stole the position of man at the Garden of Eden. But when Jesus came, God came in the form of a man and he was called Jesus, the Messiah. When he came, he took back what the devil stole from man and gave it back to man in a better form. When the devil met man at the garden, the devil met man at the garden and stole, guess what he stole? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, guess what he stole? He stole, you know, God coming down to fellowship with man. But Jesus came and I said, we don't need God now to be coming once in a while. Now man and God have to live together. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Oh my friend, don't expect the devil to be happy with you. Don't expect the devil to be happy with you at all. Why? Because there is a position he longed for and he couldn't get and you are there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are there. Oh come on, say I am there. Yeah. So, we are not his friends. We are not his prey. We, he can't just prey on us. So, in this kingdom, we were given power. Say with me, power. We were given power in this kingdom in order to be able to handle the devil the way we want. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh power to handle the devil and his systems the way we want. So, it's not only enough that you are kept and preserved and protected, but you are also meant to rule over the systems and the operations of darkness. When God gave us dominion, he didn't give us dominion over men. God didn't give us dominion over men. So nobody should say, you know, it is written, I have dominion, so you have to sit under me. You have to carry me on your shoulder. No, 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 no. We don't have dominion over men. We have dominion over the heavens, the earth, and under the earth. And the systems that govern these systems. The systems that govern these this environments. Hallelujah. How many of you know that this world has three faces? Hallelujah. Three faces. And these are the heavenly realm. Amen. The earth realm. And the underneath. Glory to God. Now, those are the three faces of this world. 
Those are the three faces of this world. A man has been given dominion over these three faces. The heavenlies, that is the Orion, the atmospheric and the solaric heaven. Then, of course, our space here. Glory to God. And then, under the earth, we govern this whole environment. And there are spirits that control the systems. There are spirits that are in charge of the systems of these three environments. Now, these spirits are under our dominion. We've been given dominion over spirits. We've been given dominion over creation. Say with me, creation. Yeah. So, a child of God can determine when it should rain and when it should not. A child of God can determine whether the weather in his house should be hot or cold. So, a child of God can also determine what is allowed in his environment. However, this dominion mandate is visible, viable, and very, very, you know, effective when power is in play. 